The passing of the new security law by Beijing sets a clear direction for the future. Never again will Hong Kong enjoy the freedom that's driven its status as a major global financial hub and the beating heart of capitalism. When Britain surrendered Hong Kong to China back in 1997, there was a genuine, curiously naive hope that the characteristics of David would be adopted by Goliath. Recent events prove the folly of that hope. It's clear that the totalitarian approach of the Chinese state is to be forced onto the tiny territory regardless of what its citizens, or the rest of the world, may think. I suspect that Beijing is too savvy for us to see tanks on the streets. Tiananmen Square 2.0 would not play well on social media. Instead, there'll be disappearances of anyone deemed undesirable by the People's Republic. These will go unreported by a heavily censored media, and the internet will suddenly experience the strange disappearance of mass communication like Google and WhatsApp. The new law introduces crimes that carry sentences up to life imprisonment and allows mainland security agents to enter Hong Kong with impunity. Trials can be held in secret and without a jury, while judges can be selected by the Beijing-appointed chief executive. In a piece of doublespeak worthy of George Orwell, China has established the Office for Safeguarding National Security in Hong Kong, staffed of course entirely by servants of Beijing. Chillingly, its staff will operate above the laws of Hong Kong and will not be subject to inspection, search or detention. You couldn't accuse the legislation of being too narrow in its scope. Anyone, including foreign nationals, who provoke hatred of the Chinese government would be committing a crime. This effectively makes Hong Kong a no-go area for millions of Westerners who've ever criticised China in the media. Hong Kong entrepreneur Jimmy Lai, himself being arrested recently, said, This means Hong Kong will become as corrupt as China. Our status as an international financial centre will be destroyed. Even the most ambitious expat must now think twice about staying in Hong Kong or accepting an assignment there. Perhaps the most vulnerable are those who've invested in Hong Kong real estate. The market's already been battered by a year of protests, with average new home prices down by 25% in 2019. Most experts expect a further slide of at least 15% this year, but in light of the new laws, the question will be, can you sell at any price? The good news is that there are other options open to people currently stuck in Hong Kong wondering what the future holds. Europe has a number of territories that offer a sunny climate and low tax living. Monaco is an expensive market to enter, but the long-term record of 10% per annum capital growth coupled with zero income tax provides a spectacular return on investment. Gibraltar offers Category 2 residency with less than 30,000 tax on your worldwide income, while developing Montenegro has some delightful Adriatic resorts while only taxing income that arises in the country. You can learn more at our website at opulent.homes.